I'm going to show you how to repair down lights which have these LED inserts inside them. These three are blown, so I'm going to show you how to fix them. So I've got three of these. I've actually got like, I think I've got ten lights all up around the place. And I've had a bunch blow recently. I have spares, and these are the spare ones. And I've already used up all the spares, and I've got three more blown already. Uh, yeah. Anyway, these ones I haven't repaired before, I don't think. I might have done this one before, but not these other two. These are just some cheap little Chinese ones, but these were the same things that are in the shops over here. That I could buy 10 with a price, I could buy one locally from a shop. So I bought 10 from overseas, but the problem is the quality is probably not so quite so good, and they keep failing. But they've got this little cover here I've got to try and take out. I have to be really careful. If I have fractured one once before, but I do kind of move. This one turns. We can't really see it, but that one's they sort of just push in there, you see. But because of the the light coming out of these LEDs, it makes these covers go brittle. So getting them out can be tricky. Now, I fractured one once before. So we'll see how we go with that, trying to get the cover out. But yeah, these are the actual LED modules that go inside them. Right, just that's it. Now these aren't exactly the same, these are slightly different to the ones that are in there. Similar but different. It's the same kind of thing. These you can get I got these from AliExpress, like a pack of ten or something I got them. Yeah, I must have got a pack of ten. This is what I'm using, 65mm LED balls. The driver for this is separate obviously. Anyway, let's try and get one of these apart and see if I can avoid breaking it. It is not the easiest thing to do because I do kind of just sit in there. I've got to try and get it pushed out without breaking it so I can get through this hole in this middle here and try and push through. Now, I want something that will get through there without being too sharp. Oh, it's too big. <laughs> not that one then. Okay, let's get a bit smaller. Let we go through here. That's like I said before, the risk here is that the thing will break as I'm trying to push it out. It does kind of rely on flexing, and that doesn't want to flex too much. Oh, it's flexing. Come on. I don't like putting all that stress in one spot. This is really not good. It's not moving. I can also see a whole lot of little stress lines around here. This one might break. I don't want to break them because, you know, they're necessary. That's the one to pop out. Let's try another one. Oh, this one just fell straight out. Look at that. Alright. Cut little bugs in there. Yeah, well. Let's try the next one. This one doesn't want to pop straight either. I did have one fall out once, so maybe I'll put a bit of glue on it. Hmm. Those two are looking like a pain. Anyway, I've got one to work with, so I'll do one, and you can imagine what the other two look like. I won't repeat the process for those. Trying to get the things apart is going to be fun, but let's just get these bugs out of this. I'll come back. Okay, bugs removed. Now, if you look in here, it says one solitary screw holding it together. All that happens with it is the um, LEDs fail. So that's all that happens. So there's the module. It looks like I squirted some heatsink compound through there to try and uh, help it to cool onto the body of the light itself to try and help it. Because my theory might have been there that um, it was not transferring enough heat out so the LEDs were dying. Now if you look at this one here, it's actually had a few dough. Show you this. So you can see the black spots in the LEDs there. 
Well, this one here, that's blown, that's blown. Is that it? I think it might just be two. Now, in theory, you could replace the LEDs, but being as this is a aluminium panel, it's actually really hard to heat it up. Right, and if I get the light on just right, you can see the, the PCB path, like right, the traces. So there's one there, to there, to here, to there, to there. So that's a chain there. So in parallel and series combinations. Start point over here and see if I can figure out exactly where that is, shall we? See what the actual combination setup is. Get the light on it right again. So that's where it goes in. So it's across that one, across that one. Those two in parallel. Machine goes to this one here and this one here. Yep, so it's two in parallel, parallel chains. So if they're in twos in parallel, that's an awful lot of current actually, just in twos. Now you can see this module isn't exactly the same one. So they are not the same one, but they are similar. Um, so I only need these on this thing. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24 LEDs. So if you assume about 2 volts per LED, that's like 48 volts on the driver, thereabouts. So all I've really got to do is take these wires off, put them onto this one in the correct orientation, positive to positive, and then mount this board back inside. But this board is slightly thicker, so actually see the original board? Look at the difference in these boards. That's the original one, and that's the new one, a bit thicker. So the new one should actually be an upgrade. Because of the, you know, being a bit thicker, I mean, it should be able to handle a bit more heat now. Alright, so let's get the wires off this, put them on this one, and then mount that unit in there. Now, what I did one of the lights I did once is I actually put some thermal stuff in there. I've got, some, I've got a little bit of thermal paste in here. I also squirted it through the back to try and preserve it. I think it helped, I'm not sure. Yeah, so I did actually put one, once I had some, put some standoffs on it, put some spaces on it, so it was all even, and it had more than one point. Because of these, this housing is actually a little bit small for these. They actually don't sit flat. They're actually slightly bigger. See that? They don't actually sit on the bottom. There's actually a gap. So they can't dissipate heat through the back of the housing. Which is a bit of a design flaw. Wake the soldering iron up. Now this is probably going to need quite a bit of heat. Let's go 400. I might even have to change bits. Actually, I think I'll change bits too. Because I'm going to need that. Let's do this one. Being aluminium, it's going to be a bit hard to solder. All right. See, it makes a real difference having a decent heat source. Plenty of heat. Plenty of thermal mass. I'm not going to try and clean the wires up and like that, it's going to shove them straight back on as they are. I was trying to hold it and balance it at the same time. That's not very good. I think I might need to hold this somewhere actually. not the best solder of joint. Right, I haven't got it right around. So what I'm thinking I might do is actually put some thermal pad. That's everything I've got now. I didn't have that before when I last time I looked at these things. 
So I've got that thermal pad stuff, different thicknesses. I could put some of that behind here and then screw it down. So that should actually help transfer the heat, even though it's a big air gap. Um, instead of trying to put standoff spaces in there, which is what I did in the other boards, on the other unit when I play, repaired those, is I put standoffs in there. I mean, that works, but then you know, you're only relying on that little small contact area of the standoff, which is probably more than I had originally. But um, just going to get some thermal pad. Okay, so I've got some a bit of thermal pad here which I had laying around. I've also got some new stuff which is about the same thickness. This feels like it goes about right. So I'll pop this forward a bit. And I'll stick that on that panel inside there and, and just lay it down. That is touching the thermal pad. That's just pressing on it very gently. So I think that will do the job. And if I put a couple of those pads in there, or maybe three pads and then screw it down, that should at least transfer some heat away. And if I just do little squares like that, it'll be right. Be fairly efficient. I won't use too much pad, and it's going to be better than original because before there was nothing transferring heat. So we'll do that. So I'll make maybe I'll maybe just do a couple of strips maybe with this stuff. This stuff's quite cheap to get. Use my links down below um, for Banggood. I think Banggood might have it. I'm not sure. I've definitely got it from AliExpress. So here's a strip. Let's do like maybe let's do two strips. I'll cut that in half. Is that going to be too much? Could try that. Like that and like that. Yeah, that'll work. That should be pretty good. All right. So I'll just stick that back in there with that single screw head holding it together. Now this has got this. Um, it's got this film in there too, got to peel that off. It makes it a little bit sticky, which is fine to me. And all I've got to do then is find out where the screw hole is. Let's line up first of all, place these pads. Actually, I'll, if I see where the screw is, uh, I'll just shove the pad across here. He's actually quite flexible, these pads. I can actually bend them around. It's quite good. It's actually nice than the other ones. I should get some more of this one. So I don't know if these are actually any good. I mean, in theory they work, but we'll see. All right, so just like that. Now, of course, this doesn't have the same screw hole. I might have to mess around trying to get it to line up, but we'll see. Here we go. I can't power it up to show you if it works because the driver is still in the ceiling. Some of those replacing ones which have blown already. Here we go, like to that hole there. And that's sitting on that pad. That's brilliant. So that's what I think I'll do is I'll use those pads. That's a much better solution. Let's try and tighten it down nice. So I think that'll work quite nicely. That's definitely going to be transferring heat into the casing as long as the pads work properly. So that's one light done. Of course now I've got bloody thermal grease in my fingers which is going to get everywhere. Anyway, that's what that blop is on there. It's when I put the um, thermal compound on it. Squeeze it through. It's coming right through the bloody thing. Stuff it. Oh. <laughs> oh, come off, you bugger. This stuff gets everywhere. Right. So I should just pop that back in again. Hopefully, it won't fall out. There we go. So, one done. Um, and let's cross that out. And I've just got to repeat that for the other two lights if I can get the covers off them. I might have to try and work the edges or something to loosen them up. I mean, I could have put a drop of glue. I mean, I know 
I did have one which was falling apart, the lens kept falling out and I put a drop of glue on it. It could have been this one, but I only put it in one little spot so I should still be able to get it back out. I don't know, I can't tell where it is. The fact I can't spin it means it's likely... Yeah, maybe just there. There might be a bit of glue in there. I'll probably have to put a little bit of glue on it to hold it on end because it probably fell out. Lifting up over here, so yeah, I think I'll probably put a drip bit of glue on the edge. So I'm gonna have to try and loosen that off. So I won't bore you with that one or the, or the other units. That's how I fix these ones at least. Yours may or may not be different, but these are quite common modules, you can get them quite easily, they're fairly cheap. Getting one of these is certainly cheaper than buying a whole new light. It just takes a little bit of effort to change them over. So thanks for watching, catch you later if you liked it. Share the video. I think people might be interested in knowing to fix the downlights. Or at least when I fix this one. Mm. Yeah. Alright, catch you later. Bye. So I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you haven't seen my previous stuff, then make sure you go and look. I've got hundreds of them, like 644 videos I've done so far. So go and check them out. I've seen a little variety there. Go back and look at the back catalog. Pages and pages of them. Pages of playlists as well, all these things too. Loads of them. Go and check them out. Make sure you go and watch more stuff. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more. Watch me.